Washington, D.C. is home to nearly 700,000 people and more than 70 full-service grocery stores. But those grocery stores aren't evenly distributed, as a report written by the advocacy group DC Hunger Solutions shows. While each of the eight wards has roughly the same population, Ward 3 in Upper Northwest has 16 full-service food stores, while Ward 8 east of the river has one, and Ward 7 has two. In D.C., we have a lot of food insecurity, but it's not for lack of food. It really is lack of access to healthy food. The district's deputy mayor for economic development tells News 4 the district is spending tens of millions of dollars trying to attract food retailers to underserved neighborhoods, including smaller community grocery stores like this Good Food Market in Ward 8. So the mayor has put forth the Food Access Fund, which is $58 million to create food access points uh, throughout Ward 7 and 8. Today, the mayor's office announced that one of the larger grocery chains that is planning to open east of the river is now planning a new store in the old Models on 14th Street in Northwest. Lidl, which is a new entry to the D.C. market, uh, is going to be opening up their second location right here in Columbia Heights. The district has added 24 grocery stores since 2015. Harris Teeter recently closed this location in Southeast. Meanwhile, residents in Ward 3 are eagerly awaiting the opening of D.C.'s first Wegmans, one of eight new grocery stores in the offing. Wheeler points out many of the residents east of the river rely on federal food subsidies like SNAP and WIC, which are not always accepted at smaller food stores. The people who really suffer a lot um, are the disabled. We have a lot of children who are on SNAP and WIC and seniors. In a major effort to bring another grocery store east of the river, Mayor Bowser and the D.C. Council are using eminent domain to acquire this land in Ward 7 as the site for a yet-to-be-named grocery store. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4.